Giving's always been such a great and part of my life. Um, I learned it as an early age, uh, starting off young, and most of us le learn to give at a young age. I remember going out one time, my, my dad would take us um, all separately and to buy each other Christmas gifts and, and uh, tell me, why don't you pick out the gift that you think that you would want to be able to give to your brother? So I would look around at all these Tonka toys, and you know that's when trucks were made, like Tonkas were made durable, you know, steel. So I found this tea bucket hot rod that I thought was really cool. It had combinations of purple and yellow together, and I thought it was a real cool gift. I says, Dad, I want to get Walt this. And Dad says, no, no, you don't want to get him that gift. You, you know, what would you really, really want if you were to pick something out? And I says, Dad, that's what I would really, really want. You know, that's, that's, that's the gift I want to give him. And, and he says, well, you got to pick something different. Now, even at a young age, I kind of figured out, that must have been the gift Walt got me. <laughs> so I, I figured out that I want to be able to, even starting then, I wanted to be able to give my best. I wanted to be able to do what I could for the people I love. And you do that even now. You give to the people you love. You got Christmas gifts and, give, and birthday gifts and, and things like that. And you want to do things to be able to help others. Well, giving goes outside of that. Who is, we talked about having your best friend and, and uh, you know, being your, your wife in today's sermon, but we also talked about as far as Jesus being our best friend. And what do you give back to Jesus? You want to give him your best. Giving gets to be so so part of me that you know even when my taxes increase, I start getting scared. Man, that means I can't give as much. And it's not just I would never cut back on my ties, but as far as giving to other things that I do. And, and it's funny how we think that what we need to cut back is on our giving. Now fortunately, even as every time the tax laws change, it always go against me, but that's just the way this thing seems to work. But you you logically try to think where could I cut in order to make things work and that's not really what giving does for us giving enables us to be able to do more and and he gives back to us so much more abundantly I've never been in a situation where I had to cut back on giving because financially things got to be tough because of increased taxes or unexpected bills I've had some unexpected bills even with the tax increase of owing an additional $30,000 because I didn't have the write-offs anymore. God still provided that I was able to pay that money back on a timely manner and not have to give back on giving. What I challenge you to do, if you're not giving, give. It's fun to give. It's enjoyable to give. And, it's, and, and you see it so richly getting paid back that you get so much more than you actually give. It's the looks on people's faces. It's the unexpectedness. Why would you do this? Give unexpectedly and give abundantly.